Uh, today I'm going to talk about some of the pitfalls that I encountered while building our uh, emergency water storage system. My wife went out and bought these uh, 55 gallon barrels, uh, three of them, <clears throat> and then uh, they had come with some kind of vinegar in it and so she cleaned them out with water and, and bleach. And so they're all ready to, to go and so the first thing we did was to design a rack to support their weight. You can see it's all made of 2x4 construction except for the corner posts which are made of 4x4s. Four uh, let me lift one of these up kind of see the saddle that was created to support the weight. The overall width is really no more than the width of a barrel so the whole thing sits in the footprint not much larger than one barrel laying on its side. It's all put together maybe a little bit more than uh, than it needs to be using uh, lag bolts rather than screws but uh, figure the weight of the water warranted the uh, overkill on the design. This is also anchored to the wall as you can see with a 2x4 This 2x4 in the back is actually anchored to the studs in the wall and then but that was actually secured to the wall after these 4x4 posts were secured from the back side. So this isn't going to go anywhere. I don't really know that it needs to be anchored to the wall but in my case a little bit of overkill. Now the real problem was when I ordered the replacements for these bung caps. As you can see there's really not a convenient way to fill or drain these. So <coughs> looking at Amazon's website and doing a little bit of searching on YouTube I came to realize that they make bung caps with a three-quarter thread so that you can attach a standard spigot. These threads can be uh, normally these uh, these bung caps are sealed but you can knock these threads out. The way that I knocked the threads out was pretty straightforward. I just set this on my vise and then just took a socket set it right here and banged on it with a hammer and it punched that out. The problem is that there are two types of these bung caps. These threads come in a coarse and a fine and I wasn't paying attention when I ordered these. These are coarse threads. My barrels unfortunately use a fine thread. So I want you to see the difference. Make sure that you order the one that matches what you need. This is the fine thread, and that's the coarse thread. So I've gone ahead and assembled this, but when the replacements come in that I've ordered this morning, I'll be taking these, these spigots off of these coarse thread bung caps and putting them on a fine thread. Once it's all done, each of my barrels will have a, uh, a faucet at the top and a faucet at the bottom. Uh, the faucet at the top is really merely just a way to uh, to vent the air out and in as I'm filling or draining. Uh, 